I am the one they call Nick Shell. I like this comment. I think it is challenging. I think it causes us to explore. I made a video that was quite interactive. A lot of people left comments on it. It was called Receding Hairline Man. Is it that? <laughs> Do you just love that? <laughs> receding Hairline Man. How generic is that? So I said, eh, I want to see what a receding hairline looks like on a man. Uh, how about Receding Hairline Man? Here he is. <laughs> Receding hairline man, what age do I really look? So one of the comments I received has this to say, Buckethead. Oh man, speaking of great titles, thank you for letting your screen name be Buckethead. That's awesome. <laughs> okay, Buckethead. Buckethead had this to say, quote, the type of woman that's attracted to a man with a shaved head and muscles is usually a woman that's attracted to bad boys. The type of woman I want is a woman like your wife. Thank you, that's a compliment. And I don't think she's attracted to bad boys. What's your opinion on this? End quote. I'll give you my opinion on this. I will not deny that I think that there's some truth in this. I think there definitely is some truth in that, uh, that this whole shaved head look with the muscles culturally by default is going to coincide with this bad boy concept. I, it, what I don't imagine so much is the, the shaved head, the big muscles, and then this guy is mild and meek and, and, and such a beta kind of guy. Typically that look is going to radiate more of an alpha male, a traditional alpha male personality, aggressive, confident, direct, and all those things. I think what we're seeing here is if we ask the question, does the shaved head and the, the big muscles coincide with that traditional alpha male concept? I'd say that the Venn diagram, yes. And it, could it be safe to say that that in itself is seen more of a bad boy type of concept? So therefore, females that are looking for a strong male, not simply just physically, but also up here, because let's face it, a man who is an alpha male, it's not so much just about his physical body and his appearance, but it's also in here that he's emotionally intelligent enough to not let other people hurt his feelings, give him a bad day. He's in control of his own emotions, his own mind, and he's in control of his own body. And I think that is what's attractive. So I think in theory, you could be this mild-mannered guy who's not the bad boy, who's not breaking the rules, but has a shaved head and works out. And because he's confident and decisive and in control of his own emotions and his own confidence, it's not so much about being the bad boys that he is confident in himself and he's good at controlling his own emotions and his own perception of reality. And that itself is attractive. You don't have to be a bad boy to attract a good girl, but you can have a shaved head and work out a lot and have the muscles and it still has the same effect. Now, with all that being said, and I believe every word I said is just true, I can imagine that a lot of times there is still going to traditionally be the shaved head muscle guy that is the bad boy and he is attracting girls who are not so, let's say, how, we, how should we say? I, I don't even know what the word we should say here, <laughs> but as far as uh, my, my wife, for example, I will close with this, and I've said it before, and I learned this from a comedian years ago that I was watching on Comedy Central, that he was talking about there's the crazy meter when it comes to females. So if, if you've never learned anything from me, you're about to learn something from me possibly. You heard it first from me. There's a crazy o meter when it comes to females. And here's how it works. The more, uh, how should we say it, physically aggressive a woman is towards you, the crazier she is. Now, it may be really nice at first you think, wow, she's really into me, she's digging me, this is great. Then give it a few weeks, give it a few months, and no, give it a few weeks, give it a few days. And then you realize she's crazy. Because the more physically aggressive women are, typically the 
crazier they are. They're gonna just flip on a switch. Like, who is this person? Whoa, uh, yeah, it gets crazy. Meanwhile, the ones who are not physically aggressive and are more mild-mannered, so maybe they're not as physically aggressive, but they're the kind of person where you'd actually wanna be around them a month from now. So there's definitely that crazy meter So what I'm presenting to you is this concept that in theory, the girls who are attracted to bad boys are often gonna be the same girls that are going to be crazy. They're gonna end up like, uh, like acting one way today and then another way tomorrow and then just flipping out and like, what? So what I'm saying to you is, the, the, the traditional concept of a bad boy is that he can't commit to one woman, right? That's part of the thing. He's this rebel, he can't commit, which to me seems very childish, if you ask me. That's a very boy mentality, if that's what we're gonna wanna talk about as far as the bad boy. He's not a man of commitments. And so therefore, he's going to attract the kind of woman that is crazy herself. So you've got, bad, in my opinion, bad boys attract crazy women. And in my mind, normal guys are going to attract not so crazy women. And it's a matter of figuring out who you are or who you want to be. But if you're gonna allow yourself to be attracted to women who are very upfront with how physically attracted they are to you and wanna be with you, guess what? You're probably, she's probably crazy and she's looking for that bad boy kind of thing. But if you're more mild-mannered, you're probably more over here. But what I'm presenting to you is, what if you chose to maybe be in the middle? You could look like that ba bad boy, but you could actually be that dependable man in charge of your own emotions who is committed and kind. And to me, that is what masculinity is about. That's being a real man, not being a bad boy in a leather jacket <laughs> with a switchblade driving a Harley. Like, that guy attracts crazy girls. That's my opinion. And I did not attract a crazy girl. She's not crazy. She's very sound of mind. Is that right? She's, she's not crazy. And that was very important to me. And I knew that back in my 20s when I met her. I was looking for, for a girl who wasn't crazy. Because I picked up on the whole crazy factor, the whole crazy meter thing. So, what do you think about that? I think there's some truth and knowledge in what I just said. And I am older than you. I'm probably more experienced in life than you, being that I'm pushing 40 and you're probably not. That has been my experience, my observation. Can, you, can any part of what I said, could you say, you know what, Nick? Uh, yeah, you kind of make a good point. Is that possible? Comment section is right here.